So I have with me uh, Mr. Mukul Vasnik, uh, who just met Mr. Karge. What uh, is now uh, Mr. Karge's plan now that he's been uh, officially declared as the candidate, as the uh, president of the Indian National Congress? I have not discussed any plans with him, but uh, I congratulated him on the outcome of the uh, election results, and I wished him well. And uh, I'm confident that under Karge ji's leadership we will be able to regain the confidence of the people of India and will be able to meet the challenges which are posed before India by uh, uh, the Bharatiya Janata Party and the RSS. Mr. Sashi Tharoor, despite the fact that he didn't have the Gandhi's backing, he was fighting against many odds, has crossed that 10%, 1,072 votes with 470 rejected votes. So that is a huge victory for Mr. Sashi Tharoor in a sense. Do you agree with that or not? See, the Gandhi family was completely neutral in these elections. That's the official position? No, that is the correct position. They have not sided with Khargeji. They have not sided with Tharoorji. There were no directions issued to the delegates to vote this way or the other way. It was a completely neutral election as far as the Gandhi family is concerned and the number of votes which Mr. Shashi Tharoor has secured, that itself goes on to prove that how free and fair and transparent these elections were there. I am happy that Shashi Tharoor ji has got considerable number of votes. But when you say, you know, when he gets 1072, it is like one against many odds. So the fact is that you should multiply the fact that when there are 9,000 delegates standing, there are 1,000 who are standing up with black flags to say that we want reforms within the party. See, what are the odds against uh, uh, Shashi Tharoor or what was uh, stacked against him? I am not aware about them. But I am aware about Khargeji's long standing in the Congress party. He has risen from the grassroots, long years of experience as a legislator, long years of experience as a man of organization, long years of experience in the government of Karnataka, in the government of India. So uh, this goes on to prove that he is a man uh, who has deep roots uh, as well as far reach all over the country. Now the question about Mr. Kargil, how does it play out from here? The, uh, when does the CWC meet? When does it become a steering committee? Uh, when is the plenary session? Will all the, uh, all the you know, people like you as general secretaries and others, will you all send in your resignation? How is it going to play out in the next few days? See, normally the practice which has been there for a long, long time has been that with the election of the Congress president, the Congress Working Committee stands dissolved. In its place, the new Congress president appoints a steering committee. Just a, a, a little while ago, Khargeji has been announced as the president. Let us give him some time to unfold what is there for him to announce. So, you're, so if I get you correctly, the Congress Working Committee automatically stands dissolved now? I Is think, I think uh, uh, this, uh, this needs a little clarification. Uh, when, whenever the notification for the steering committee will be issued, that it will uh, be clarified in and, that. And, and uh, you, you, uh, you, know, you were one of those members who wrote to Mrs. Gandhi asking for elections to the Congress Working Committee, to the CEC to the Congress Parliamentary Board. Do you still stand that there should be an election for that process? See, elections have been there time and again. Last time also... Last time was in 98, Mukul Sahib. No, no. Yes. Last time also in the plenary session in the Indira Gandhi Stadium in New Delhi, there was a resolution moved that instead of voting for the Congress Working Committee members, let us unanimously pass a resolution authorizing the Congress President. Overwhelmingly, all the delegates assembled, they authorized Congress President and therefore there was no vote. But then we had authorized Congress President. It is free uh, for the delegates to decide either way, whether to have it through vote or whether to authorize Congress President. Let us see when the plenary session will come. There are people who want that there should be actually ballot through which the election for the working committee... What do you want? Be? Because you, you were the signatory. I'm asking you a difficult question. See, do you still stand by your letter of 2020? See, I am a member of the working committee. I am an office bearer in the AICC. Let me 
say whenever a official position is taken to articulate that position i cannot hold a personal view after being uh, there on some uh, very uh, important positions in the party so here you have it uh, mr mukul vasnik uh, not wanting uh, to specify about uh, what exactly uh, he wants in terms of his uh, whether he stands by that letter that he wrote uh, to the congress president for a full time congress president now you have a full time congress president uh, the issue of course uh, still remains uh, about uh, when uh, that congress working committee uh, stands dissolved they will uh, you know thank the uh, uh, the outgoing uh, uh, congress president uh, sonia gandhi and leave it to uh, mr uh, karge to uh, form that uh, steering committee and take those most important decisions uh, to ahead of the congress's plenary session and elections for the congress working committee